Cyclone MMA. Marlon Marais has announced his retirement. This is something that I think surprises a lot of people, but it's something that I think is good for Marlon, and I think a lot of people are going to be excited to hear this um, news. Not because Marlon Marais isn't a super entertaining fighter, but it's just because of this thing that MMA fighters do, and they hold on for too long, and they want to stay in the sport, and they want to keep competing, and... It's just not good for your longevity and your life. And I think Marlon understands that. I think he's a smart dude. I think he knows it's time to hang him up. So it sounds like he's going to stay in the sport. It sounds like he's going to help the young fighters around him and build them up and give them all of his knowledge because he has a lot of knowledge. And we just have to remember how much of a beast this dude is. We're going to look at the good, but we're going to start off by looking at some of the bad and why he might be retiring. If you look at his last six fights... He's been knocked out in five of them. He has a win over Jose Aldo in there, um, a split decision victory. I think a lot of people had Jose Aldo winning that fight, but Marlon Moraes looked really, really good in that first round, and he was competing for the other two. But um, he fought for the title against Henry Cejudo. He almost got Henry Cejudo out of there, dude. That first round, Marlon Moraes was putting it on Cejudo in that first round. I remember watching that fight, and I was just thinking, Cejudo's not going to be able to get it done. Marlon is too tough right now and Cejudo did get it done but then you have him fighting Sandhagen, Rob Font, Devalishvili, Song Yadong, just a, a shark tank. The Bantamweight division is very very strong and there are fights in there too where he had success and then the tides turned. Marab, he almost got him out of there and then the tides turned and he got finished. Um, he always had crazy heart though and he always had the ability to knock out whoever he was fighting dude. Marlon Marais' striking was insane. I remember when he was on the come up in the UFC a couple years ago, and I remember just seeing him knock out Rafael Asuncao, and I knew at that point he was going to be fighting for a title soon. And I think TJ Dillashaw was the champion at the time before the PED stuff. And I just remember thinking, this dude's going to knock out TJ Dillashaw. I had that much, I had that much appreciation for his skills. And when you look at his career, on paper, it doesn't look as good as it actually is. Marlon Marais is a savage dude. When he fought in the World Series of Fighting, he went 11-0. He had 11 fights, 11 wins, a lot of finishes in there, a lot of knockouts, a couple submissions. And uh, he became Bantamweight champion. He had five title fights. He won all of them. He's fought the who's who's in the Bantamweight division. Um, his first fight in the UFC was against Rafael Asuncao. A fight that he would lose. But imagine thinking about the respect there that the UFC had for Marlon Marais. That his first fight in the UFC was against a Sun Sao. A Sun Sao had beaten TJ Dillashaw at that point. He had good wins under his belt. And they just gave Marais to a Sun Sao. And although he lost that fight, I think most people had him winning. If you look at the media scorecards, everyone was giving that fight to Marlon Marais. A Sun Sao got away with the decision though. After a Sun Sao, he fought John Dodson. Won that via decision. And after that, he fought a, he fought another contender. He knocked him out with a flying knee in the first minute of their fight. That contender was Aljamain Sterling, your current Bantamweight champion. So he's beaten a champion before. He's beaten two if you count the Aldo win. Um, then you had Jimmy Rivera, a tough out. He knocked him out. Then you had Rafael Asuncao, and he submitted him in the first round. He's got some crazy good wins on his record. He is just a super talented fighter, one that might be remembered for the tail end of his career when he had some really, really good wins in there. Marlon Marais, dude, he's the man. It's too bad to see his career go in this direction because he had all the talent in the world. You, he could have knocked out any one of these guys. He had the talent. It's just his chin didn't, his chin wasn't there for him. And that is the unfortunate thing for some fighters. They get knocked out and then it becomes a trend and it wasn't, um, a lack of heart. It wasn't a lack of conditioning. It wasn't a lack of training. Everything was there for Marlon Marais other than the chin. And it's too bad that it turned out this way, but I'm glad to hear that he's made the decision to retire. I'm glad to hear that he's still going to be involved in the sport, helping these young fighters get better in his area. And best of luck, honestly, to Marlon Marais, because the dude is a legend and I hope he's remembered as such. So congratulations on such an awesome career, Marlon Marais. You're the man. Amanda Nunez versus Megan Anderson. Amanda, 
Duh. Next we got Artem Lobov. We're going to stick him right up at S tier. Just kidding.